Today we're covering the top eight raspberry cocktails. And you know that's true because I got my raspberry shirt on. Raspberry is one of my very favorite ingredients in cocktails. It's floral, it's tart, it's got a really nice berry flavor to it, and it's got that beautiful vibrant color. What is there not to love about raspberry? Let's get right into it. Number eight on our list, we're traveling back in time, the 1934 Cosmo. The 1934 Cosmo can be directly attributed to Toby Cicchini at the Odeon in New York City. So even though this is the 1934 Cosmo, it, was, it wasn't invented until the late 80s, 1988 or so. It's like almost as old as I am. The Cosmo has exploded in popularity over the last couple of decades, thanks in large part to shows like Sex in the City where they drank Cosmos all day long. The 1934 Cosmo is unique in that it uses gin instead of vodka. Gin was a very popular spirit in the 1930s, and so Toby Cicchini threw back to that era, and the results are really, really good. If this is the number eight cocktail on our list, y'all are in for a real treat for the rest of these cocktails. To make the 1934 Cosmo, add half an ounce of raspberry gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add two ounces of gin. Toby uses No Let's Silver Gin. Finally, add half an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Add ice and shake hard for 20 seconds. Strain your 1934 Cosmo into a chilled coupe and garnish with an orange twist. Enjoy your journey back in time. The next cocktail on our list, number seven, the Bronx Cheer, comes to us courtesy of Joe Robinson at the Standby Hotel in Detroit, another great and underrated cocktail city. This cocktail is a rye sour that uses a little bit of falernum and lime juice to really balance things out. It's got sort of tiki overtones, but it doesn't go full-fledged tiki. It's a really nice, like hybrid, old school, new school cocktail, and we really like this drink. The interplay with the falernum and its sort of ginger baking spice character and the raspberry is a really beautiful combination. We think you'll really like it. To make the Bronx cheer, add half an ounce of raspberry gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add two ounces of rye whiskey, half an ounce of falernum, and an ounce of fresh lime juice. Add ice and shake hard for 10 seconds. Strain into a chilled highball filled with crushed ice and garnish with a lime wheel and a fresh raspberry. This is a delicious drink. Number six on our list of the best raspberry cocktails is the Raspberry Gimlet. I am always a sucker for gimlets, especially because we run a syrup company. What better way to mix things up than to use one of our products, fresh lime juice and gin. This is one of my very favorite gimlet combinations. Raspberry is a wonderful flavor when paired with gin. The floral notes really come out in raspberry here, and it is an excellent cocktail. To make a raspberry gimlet, start by adding half an ounce of raspberry gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add one and three quarters ounce of gin and three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Add ice and shake hard for 10 seconds. Strain into a chilled coupe Garnish with fresh raspberries and enjoy this beautiful and delicious drink. All the way up to number five on our list, the Knickerbocker Cocktail. As you can guess, this cocktail originated in New York, although it's very old. This is from the mid to late 1860s. It was first written about in one of Jerry Thomas's famous bar guides, the Bon Vivant's Companion. So for all you Bon Vivant's out there, this is your cocktail. It's got a very classic build. It's a daisy style cocktail. In this case, the orange liqueur modifier, the lime juice, the raspberry gum syrup, work in perfect harmony with the rum to make essentially a margarita build with different ingredients. It's a really nice, well-balanced cocktail. It's a very old drink and has stood the test of time. To make your Knickerbocker cocktail, add half an ounce of raspberry gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add two and a half ounces of light rum, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and a quarter ounce of orange liqueur. Add ice and shake hard for 20 seconds. Strain into a chilled rocks glass filled with ice and garnish with your spent lime shell and fresh raspberries. Enjoy this companion, you bon vivant. Next up, just outside the metal, is our number four cocktail, the Cafe Rojo. We developed this drink with post-dinner in mind, but you can really enjoy this drink at any time of day. In fact, it may pick you up before your night has even begun, before it's even began, before you've even begun, began your night. In fact, the coffee component means you can start your night with this cocktail and it'll carry you all through your evening. I know it sounds weird, but coffee actually has some really strong fruit notes to it. And when paired with raspberry, it makes for a really nice and cool combination that's more interesting than a lot of cocktail combinations you find. To make your Cafe Rojo, add three quarters of an ounce of raspberry gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add a quarter ounce of coffee liqueur, two ounces of your favorite rum, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice, and a dash of aromatic bitters. Add ice and shake for about 10 seconds. Strain into a chilled coupe. Garnish and get your party started with a Cafe Rojo. Number three on our list, the bronze medal winner, is the Raspberry 75. 
I love taking popular common drinks and putting a little twist on them. The French 75 is a great cocktail, whether it's at brunch, after dinner, all sorts of occasions call for a 75. The Raspberry 75 is a delicious variation and one that I think has the potential to be a classic. There's something about champagne and raspberry or any dark fruit for that matter that is a match made in heaven. And the light bubbles of the champagne really wake up the aromatics of the raspberry. You will not be disappointed when you try a Raspberry 75. To make this cocktail, add three quarters of an ounce of raspberry gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add an ounce of raspberry brandy, though you could sub in gin or another brandy. Finally, add three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice and add ice to your shaker tin. Shake hard for five seconds and strain into a chilled coupe. Top with two to three ounces of dry champagne and garnish with a lemon twist. Cheers to a modern classic, the Raspberry 75. Our number two cocktail on our list of the best raspberry drinks, the Floradora. This cocktail is a favorite around here. We love how crisp the flavors are. A spicy ginger, fruit forward raspberry, that beautiful red color, and the bubbles. <laughs> the bubbles. The bubbles. The bubbles. There's something about a carbonated highball combined with ginger. So ginger beer, ginger ale, in our case, our fiery ginger syrup and club soda. It's just a really nice effervescent quality. It makes for a very aromatic experience and it really wakes up everything that raspberry has to offer. All that in combination with some gin and fresh citrus, it's just... This highball really checks a lot of boxes. It's a refreshing drink. You can sip it year round. It's a lot of complex flavors coming together to equal more than the sum of their parts. It's a really, really good cocktail and we think you're gonna love it. To make a Floradora, add half an ounce of raspberry gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add a quarter of an ounce of fiery ginger syrup, one and a half ounces of gin, and half an ounce of fresh lime juice. Add ice and give it a good shake. Strain into a highball glass filled with ice, Top with club soda and give it a quick stir. Garnish with a lime wedge and some fresh raspberries if they're laying around. Sit back and enjoy the second best raspberry cocktail. You've made it this far. You're gonna be rewarded with the number one raspberry cocktail. You ready for this? It's the Clover Club. This drink comes to us courtesy of a city that's not known for its cocktails, but has given us this one, which is really a canonical drink. It's pre-prohibition era Philadelphia. It's the early 20th century, and you want a cocktail that is fruit forward, ethereal, elegant, and delicious. You ask for a Clover Club. You're looking for something with the aromatic, fruit forward, rich character of raspberry combined with vermouth, which is always an elegant touch in a cocktail. The egg white in this cocktail is gonna give you a really nice, frothy, creamy body. And all of that combined with the aromatic qualities of gin makes for, we think, the perfect raspberry cocktail. I double dog dare you. Make a Clover Club and tell us it's not the best raspberry cocktail. To make the best raspberry cocktail, the Clover Club, start by adding three quarters of an ounce of raspberry gum syrup to your shaker tin. Next, add one and a half ounces of gin, half an ounce of dry vermouth, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice, and half of an egg white. Add ice and shake for 10 seconds or until well chilled. Double strain this luscious cocktail into a chilled coupe and garnish with fresh raspberries. Enjoy this stunner, the Clover Club. Cheers. Y'all, look at all of these beautiful red cocktails. They're all red. I'm wearing like kinda red. What else can we do to convince you to try raspberry in a cocktail? These are our eight best raspberry cocktails. What do you think of our list? Did we leave some obvious ones off? Did you love all of them? Did we nail it? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you like cocktail content like this, make sure and click that like and subscribe button. Cheers.